domain and range of a linear function that models a real-world situation. A small publishing company is planning to publish a new book. Let C be the total cost of publishing the book in dollars, and N be the number of copies of the book produced. For the first printing, the company can produce up to 100 copies of the book. Suppose that C equals 20N plus 800 gives C as a function of N during the first printing. Identify the correct description of the values in both the domain and the range of the function. Then for each, choose the most appropriate set of values. Okay, so my domain are my inputs or X values. Okay, my range are my outputs or the Y values. And I could rewrite this equation right here um, with X's and Y's if I just wrote Y here, right? Or I'm going to actually even use function notation, F of X, okay? So F of X equals 20X plus 800, okay? If I rewrote it kind of using F of X notation. Um, now I know that C is the F of X and not the plain X because it says C is a function of N, okay? So the C is the function value, right? And N is the input. So if N is the X's or the inputs, okay, then the number of copies produced is the domain. And if C is the function value or the output, okay, then the cost of publishing the book is the range. Now I just need a set of values here. So we need to think about the context for a minute. So I could produce zero books, okay? I could produce one book or two books or three books, okay? But I can't produce half a book, right? I'm gonna print a whole book or nothing, okay? And at a maximum, this is going to go up to a hundred books for my first printing. So my domain is going to be this specific set of numbers and there's nothing in between zero and one or one and two that makes sense in this context. So for set notation, I'm gonna put the little curly braces around this to show that this is a specific list or set of numbers and that's all the values there are as part of my domain. So now I want the range or the output. So in other words, if I print zero books, okay, what's the cost? So I'm gonna look at my function here, okay, f of x equals 20x plus 800, right? If I print zero books, what is my cost gonna be? Or what's the function value at zero? So I substitute in zero, 20 times zero is zero, and zero plus 800 is 800. So the minimum cost is gonna be $800 to set up the printing, maybe for editing. Um, and then I wanna know, well, if I print all 100 at the other end, what's my maximum cost? So I wanna know what's the function value at 100. So I substitute in 100, so 20 times 100 plus 800. Okay, so 20 times 100 is 2,000, plus another $800 is going to be $2,800. So to print all 100, my cost on the other end, okay, is going to be uh, $2,800. Okay, now what's in between, right? Again, I can't print half of a book. So if I print one book, okay, if I print one book, 20 times one plus 800 is 820. If I print two books, 20 times two is 40 plus 800 is gonna be 840, okay? Uh, 20 times three 
up here is 60 plus 800 is 860. Okay, so you can see how this pattern goes, right? And I will end with 2800. And I will never have a cost of, let's say, 810, right? Because zero books cost me 800, one book cost me 820. There's nothing in between here because I'm not making or printing partial books. Right? There's no reason to print 0.46 of a book here. So this is the set of numbers that make up my range. 